This is going to be my 16th year or my 17th year at Severn Park. I think it's an amazing gift that I'm able to talk about politics and religion all day long. I really enjoy watching the students. The students are so um, personable and, and affectionate and um, open here. So you develop relationships with students that I don't think many schools have the ability to do. So I, have, I still talk to on Facebook and, and text students that I taught 12, 15 years ago. They have children. They live out in California. You know, they're working for Google. They're do, I mean, it, you guys do such amazing things. It's wonderful to watch your successes. Well, I went to a city high school. Um, There's 3,000 kids in my high school. And it was an enormous uh, inner city Philadelphia school. And it was difficult to get involved because there was so many distractions. Um, I was in our student council and it's funny because I found a, a little senator card in my ID from high school not so long ago and I ended up you know copying the design and made it for my officers <laughs> so that they could have it. It was like a permanent ID card but I don't remember doing any of the events or any of the things that the SGA does here back in my high school. I think it was just kind of a um, social club. I've been the advisor of SGA for 15 years. I think I took it on the second year I got here and didn't really quite understand how to do it and had a group of great seniors who um, had been involved for four years and kind of showed me the ropes. The first thing I really want to say is that every student in Savannah Park High School is a member of SGA. They do not need to join. They don't need to fill out a form. They don't need to um, be an officer to be a delegate or to be a member because it's student government. If they'd like to get more involved with the events that we do, then I suggest they follow us on Twitter and they follow us on Instagram and, and we've, we've upped our social media presence quite a bit so that people do know when events are. Today is the uh, Staff and Teacher Appreciation Luncheon. We have a, a lot of um, students that are involved in helping get ready for their gifts on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of the week. Today's the luncheon. Um, we do Polar Bear Plunge, we do Homecoming, we do uh, you know the Spirit Weeks in the fall and then March Madness in the spring. Um, there's so many different options for students to get involved that they don't need to feel that they have to attend regular meetings or that they have to fill out any forms. They can just show up and help. We walked around, some teachers and I walked around and took pictures of all the murals. Um, I didn't realize how much I've grown used to seeing them every day. And um, little things like the sunrise from this stairway's window every morning. Um, there's a beautiful dogwood right outside the glass hallway. I'm going to miss the freedom of, of being so isolated right here that, you know, I can have the students out in the hallway. I'm really going to miss it. This sounds silly. Um, there's a mulberry tree that goes from the students, which is now the senior lot, into the smaller senior lot. I, after the AP test, I would bring my students out and we would pick mulberries. I'm going to miss them. Uh, overwhelmed. Um, trying to teach and pack at the same time is challenging and uh, I keep losing things. <laughs> and um, I'm excited. I think I'm one of the few teachers in this building that loves their classroom. It's so big and, and um, there's opportunities for tables and group work and things like that. I have a feeling it's going to be smaller. I think it's going to be, uh, you know, I'm excited about a better facility, better HVAC, you know, more computers, things like that but I'm gonna miss this building.